Hi, welcome to the, the Explorer channel. Uh, today I will dye my Red Wing Amber Potage 2245 with uh, Fibbing's Pro Dye Black Pro Dye. And before that, I will use the Angelus Leather Preparator and Deglazer. So among the tool I, I will use is the normal brush, the dauber, the horsehair brush, and the nylon brush for the rough uh, brushing. So let's jump into it. Okay, first of all, we use the nylon brush to make sure that our shoes is free from the dust, sand or any dirt. Actually, I clean these shoes, so let's make sure this free from dust. We go to the other pair. So, I want you ready for our experiment. So let's explore and experiment it. Okay. The first step of designing the leather shoe is we have to do the uh, preparation and I choose to use Angelus uh, Professional Leather Preparer and Deglazer to make sure that the this uh, the the surface is ready for the new dye, the Fibbing Pro dye, which is quite famous. Uh, review and have a good review in the YouTube. So we will look at the result. Don't forget your. Love. So I use a clean rack. Just rub. Let's make sure it rub into the, the shoe surface, make it even. You can use a round or circular motion or whatever method that you feel comfortable but must make sure you reach all the surface quite a strong smell here the lady glazer but i guess it because of the acetone ingredient inside it Make sure it covers the whole shoe surface. You want to make sure it's ready to receive the new dye. Done. Let it rest for a few minutes. As you can see, there is scuff marks here, so I hope I can uh, hide it with the new dye. And turn the color into black. I always like 
a black woods as you can see very beautiful amber potash leather here yeah? the red wing 225 2245 is really a good uh, safety shoe with a steel toe. You feel very confident using it at the workplace, especially at the sides where the hazards. Very popular boots for construction workers. Let's make sure it covers all the shoe surface. Okay guys, I'm using the Kibings Pro Dive and the instruction says that use a thin layer die and let it sit for a few minutes before applying another layer. So I will start with a smaller brush to brush the edges of the shoes. I will start with the shoe edges, very light one. Luckily the sole also black, so it won't pose much problem. Just a thin layer of first coat dye. The pro dye is really rich in the pigments. Okay, then I will go with the another pair. Start with the edges also. So we're done with the edges. I will use this uh, wool dober. 
come with the uh, die. So as the instruction says, recommended to, to do a circular motion there. Wow, quite a lot. So you can see the instant shine. As you can see, the, the deglazer really works in preparing the, the surface to receive the new dye. So the new dye will be absorbed easily. And I hope the final finishes will satisfy Okay, so the trick is not to drench the over, just a little bit. So you know what the importance of the using the Latex glove, it will prevent your hand from getting dirty. Make sure all the edges is covered in the dye. And it's patient. Don't worry about the metal part of it. The dye will stick to it. Forget about the inside of the shoe here. 
Make sure it's covered with the dye also. Quite a strong smell. So don't forget, forgot about the edges here. Don't worry about the table. We can uh, remove the dye later. So this is <coughs> two lay two coats of uh, fibbing pro dye where I dye the Amber Portage Red Wing 2245 into black I'm very satisfied with the result so we need to uh, leave the, the coats to dry naturally for overnight and tomorrow we will uh, buff it with uh, leather cream, red wing leather cream, and I will upload you the result of it. So, as you can see, the fibbings dry, still wet, need to be dry. So, hopefully, tomorrow we can get the, our desired result.